basic animation in CreateJS. Introducing TweenJS and Ticker. Produced by Lon Hosford. This video is background information for using the TweenJS library and the EaselJS library Ticker class. If you'd rather jump right into the code example, feel free to skip to the next video. We need to repeat the stage update method at regular intervals for animation. The EaselJS library contains a ticker class designed for that purpose. The ticker class broadcasts a tick event at a set interval. The interval default at the time of this video is 20 times per second. The interval can impact performance and smoothness of animations. So you might need to evaluate performance and make adjustments to the interval. The interval can be changed with the ticker set FPS method. At this recording, 60 times per second is the high end upper limit for web browsers. Keep in mind, smaller devices such as smartphones may not perform as well at those rates. Fortunately, those limits should increase as web browsers and devices evolve. The get measured FPS method serves as a tool to evaluate tick performance issues. Listener functions can register with the tick event and are called when the time interval has elapsed. One tick event handler usually calls the update method for the stage object, forcing a redraw of all the display objects it contains. The tween.js library contains a tween class. You can use the tween class to animate properties of display objects such as shapes created with EaselJS. Tween instances change properties over a time duration. When the stage updates, the changes are shown. This is an abbreviated listing of the tween class methods for creating and controlling an animation. As we use the tween methods in examples, we can learn more about them. But let's get a quick summary of the get to and wait methods that we use right away for our work. The get method returns a new tween instance and sets configuration properties for a tween. The to method is a tween segment with a set duration. Much like a keyframe, the to method specifies property values at the end of its segment. A tween may have multiple segments defined with the to method. The wait method simply defines a pause duration and is often used between multiple tween to methods. In the next video, we'll start putting these concepts to use. Thank you for watching.